guys, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I got so many requests from you all to make some Halloween themed treats. So that's exactly what we're gonna be doing today. We're not making, not one, not two, not three, but we are making four themed Halloween treats. And all of the treats that we're making today are super easy and super delicious. I can't wait. And a big thank you to Grow With Google for sponsoring this part of the video. They provide free digital training and their Google Career Certificates help you get on track to in-demand jobs. And again, a big thank you to Grow With Google for sponsoring this part of the video. Love you guys. I'm also wearing, oh, check this out. This is my new merch. It's a matching little sweat set, little lounge set. We've got a crew neck sweater and matching joggers. They have big pockets like the ones that I released for holiday season. Now, without further ado, let's make some delicious, cute Halloween treats. Let's get started. Okay, the first treat that we're making today, we like to call Halloween poppers, but they are mummy jalapeno poppers. They're delicious, super easy and savory. In a large bowl, we're gonna add some shredded jack cheese, a stick of cream cheese you're gonna want it at room temperature, some chopped green onion, garlic powder, little salt and pepper. And I'm gonna be posting all of the ingredients and their measurements in the description down below, so if you wanna follow along with me, you can. Then using a spatula, we're gonna mix together until well combined. This is why you want your cream cheese room temperature. Look how easy this is mixing together. I would tell you a Halloween joke, but it's too cheesy. <laughs> It's all mixed up, the filling is looking good, looking delicious. I'm gonna set it off to the side while we get our little peppers ready. Now this recipe, you use about five to seven peppers, but these are big peppers, so I'm just gonna be using five. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut them in half. Take a pepper on top of a cutting board and a sharp cutting knife. Be careful, don't get your fingers, and you're gonna cut it the long way, I call it hot dog all the way down. Then using a spoon, we're gonna scoop all of the seeds and the inside of the pepper out into a little bowl over here. It's super spicy. Unless you really wanna scare someone this holiday, you can leave them in. <laughs> Boom, like so. Then you're gonna do this to the rest of your peppers. Once you've scooped out all of your peppers, I just placed them onto a baking tray with a piece of parchment paper. We're gonna fill them with our delicious filling. To do so, very easy, just gonna take a spoon Full and scoop it right on top and press flat. And you want it to fill to the top, to the line, not really over. We don't want to overfill them because we're going to put some cool stuff on top. Nice and full, but not overfilling. Like that. Perfect. Now we're gonna do this to the rest of our peppers. Peppers are stuffed and now we're gonna roll out our dough and we're gonna wrap them around so they'll look like little mummies. So what I'm using is refrigerated crescent dough. You can just find this at the grocery store. It's in the refrigerated section. This is the stuff that's so easy to use. I love it, it's pre-made. And that's what Halloween treats are about. You want it to be fun, delicious, and easy. That's what I'm talking about. So let's get this poppin'. Oh, geez, okay, so you're supposed to give it a tap and it's supposed to pop open. Woo! <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. So take a little bit of flour. I'm sprinkling on top of a cutting board because we're gonna be cutting strips. Then you're just gonna let this little sucker plop right out. And these pre-made doughs have little lines in them, so we're gonna press them together. Today, their job is to make Halloween treats. And you know, if you don't want to, that's okay because just think of what mummies look like. They're really old. If you want them a little textured, I think that's okay. <laughs> Once you've got your dough rolled out and you've pinched the seams together, we're just gonna take a pizza cutter or you can use a sharp cutting knife. Just eyeball it, we're gonna cut thin strips to wrap around our cute little peppers over here. I'm gonna try to get 20 strips, so on this halfway line, I'm gonna try to get 10 on this side and 10 on this side. Here goes nothing. They're about a quarter inch thick and if they're a little bit different in size and shape, that's okay because these are gonna be creepy little mummies. Once you've got your strips of dough cut, you're gonna put two onto your pepper. You're gonna start at the top of the pepper. So I tried to think of this, this is the forehead. You're gonna wrap it around the top of the forehead and you're gonna leave just a little bit of space for the eyeballs. Like I'm gonna put two little eyeballs there and then bring it to the center. And now we're gonna pick up a second strip and do it again. You can crisscross them. 
wrap them around. You can really have fun with it. It's okay if it's a little messy. I think it makes it look cuter. Now you're gonna do this to the rest of your peppers. Our peppers are basically ready to bake, but before I pop these in the oven, I'm gonna cover them with a little bit of egg wash. If you've never made egg wash before, it's very easy. It's just one egg, a little bit of water, you mix together, and then with a little basting or baking brush, we're just gonna paint a little bit on top of the dough of each pepper. It helps the dough turn a nice, beautiful golden brown. So just paint a little bit of this on top of each pepper. Now they're ready to bake. You're gonna pop these into the oven at 400 degrees and bake for about 10 to 15 minutes until they turn golden brown. Once your peppers have baked and they're out of the oven, you're gonna do this while it's still warm because you want your little eyeballs to stick. Now this is the last step, the final decoration step. We're gonna be adding two candy eyeballs onto each pepper. Just like I've done over here on the sheet, I have a couple more to do. Just got these at the store. Any little candy eyeballs will do. And you're going to put them in that place that we saved a little bit of room. And you wanna do this while it's still warm because you want the cream cheese to stick to the candies and stay there. Do that, then they're ready to serve. And ta-da, here are the mummy jalapeno poppers that we made today. They're super cute, or as we like to call them, hashtag Halloweenos. These are super adorable simple to make and delicious. In fact, this one's not even gonna make it to the dinner table because it just fell on the floor or something, I don't know. Oh my gosh, it's so good. You can't go wrong with cheese, bread, and a little bit of spice. And when I say it's a little bit of spice, it is a little bit, because remember, we hollowed out the center of the pepper, so it's really light, it's very mild. I absolutely love these. Now on to our next Halloween treat. The next recipe that we're gonna be making are these cheesy witch brooms. The thing that I like about this treat, it is so easy to make. Here's all the ingredients, right? Literally pretzels, string cheese, and chives. One of my favorite snacks is just cheese and crackers, and I think this is a really fun twist. So instead of cheese and crackers, it's cheese and pretzels. So in front of me, we're gonna start with the string cheeses on a cutting board. And as you can see, now these are the string cheeses that are two-tone, the two colors. We got our mozzarella and a little cheddar. Oh my gosh, I, it matches my outfit. Oh, okay, I didn't plan this, but literally these match my outfit. I'm so excited about, oh my gosh. I should have literally done a photo shoot with this string cheese. Now first step here is we're gonna line up our little string cheeses. We're gonna make two cuts using a big sharp cutting knife. Just be careful, don't get those fingers. And we're gonna cut it into thirds. There we go, one cut and two cut, perfect. Now we're gonna make some cuts into the string cheese that will look like bristles of a broomstick, like so. I'm gonna be using a smaller knife to make it a little bit easier. So you're gonna take a string cheese and you're gonna cut about halfway into it. Then you're gonna do the same on the other side. And then so now you've got four sections and you're gonna cut each section in half again. So you're just gonna cut it a little bit at an angle, make those little bristles. And this is gonna help it stand up. It almost looks like a little octopus. I've seen a little kid's treat where they did a little like little octopus cheeses and that's kind of kind of the same idea, only we're gonna make broomsticks. Now we're gonna do this to the rest of your string cheeses. Rest of your string cheese? Yeah. Sis? No. Now that we've cut the cheese, ha 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 ha, we've got all of our cheesy broomstick bases. <laughs> Take a little pretzel stick and we're just gonna push it in the top like this and only about halfway. Oopsie, because if you push it in too far, your cheese is gonna split too far. Oops. So when you do this, you'll just have to have a little cheese and crackers snack to yourself. Mm. All right, let's try again. Round two. Boom. Beautiful, look at that little broom. So once you got your little pretzel stick in there, you're gonna take a little chive. We're gonna tie a knot in the air. Okay, then we tie around. Oop. I can do this. Then we cut off the little excess. And there you go, little witch's broom right there. Now you're gonna do this to the rest of your little cheesies. And ta-da, there you have it, cheesy witch brooms. It's a new take on cheese and crackers. It's pretzel and crackers. And I really love this treat because it's so easy to make. Literally only three ingredients, you guys. And look how cute they are. I love them. They remind me of little magic brooms, like they're standing up and they're like sweeping on their own, like this, pew, 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 pew. <laughs> We've made some savory treats. Now, on to some sweet treats. 
The next spooky Halloween treat that we're gonna be making are these graveyard dirt cups. What can I say? I like pudding, I like cookies and cream, and this combines everything I love into a little cup, little dessert size. It's perfect for a dessert for Halloween. So we're gonna start by making the pudding mix. In a large bowl, we're gonna combine the chocolate instant pudding mix and two cups of milk. Then whisk together until firm. This usually takes about two minutes, so not very long at all. You don't even have to use an electric hand mixer because it's not long. And really, I like to get a little bit of a workout when I'm having a dessert. It makes me feel like I've earned it. I'm like, whoo, I did all this work. I deserve a little pudding cup with cookies. <laughs> Why does my laugh sound like a witch laugh? Our chocolate pudding is looking good. Now the next step, we're gonna make it a little cream, a little fluffier. We're gonna add one and a half cups of whipped topping. We're gonna fold it into our chocolate pudding. So we're just gonna scoop it into here. And if you've never folded before, let me show you how to do it. Now you're gonna take a big spatula, you're gonna scoop underneath all your pudding. You're gonna fold it on top and then turn the bowl. So it's under, over, turn, under, over, turn, under, over, turn. And you just keep doing this until it's evenly combined. Once mixed together, I put all of the chocolate pudding into a piping bag just to make things a little bit easier. And this is ready to go, but I'm gonna set it off to the side. This part is bittersweet. We're gonna take these cute little chocolate cookies and we're gonna scrape out the filling. Now I love cookies and cream. This is a winning combo forever. But today we just want the cookie, not the cream. I know some people who twist them, and we'll do little games, like they'll say like, who's gonna get it? So we just twist all of them apart. Oh, these are perfect, because these are coming apart perfect. I'm not planning. Oh, okay, okay, there we go. So all the ones with no cream, we're gonna place them into a little bag over here, and you just want crushed cookies. Now you can scrape out the cream. Oh, the cookies and cream. You're breaking up the iconic duo. We're just gonna put the cream in the bowl and then put the other cookies in the bag. Oh, what? I've got a little cookies. There's many different ways to make cookie crumbs. You can throw these in a blender. If you don't have a blender, you can just put them in a little baggie like this. Take a rolling pin and crush them up. Break them up into chunks. We want fine chunks. If you're fancy, you could use a food processor. That would be great. I do that with graham crackers too when I'm making like edible sand. But if you just want to keep it simple, this is fun. Also stress relieving. <laughs> Ta-da! We've got cookie crumbs. Okay, so here I crushed about 30 cookies to get this much. Now we're gonna assemble the graveyard cups for dessert. I have these clear cups so that you can see the beautiful layers. So I'm gonna scoop about one and a half tablespoons crushed cookie into the little clear cup. And now in the piping bags, we have our chocolate pudding. I'm just gonna cut a little hole at the end and we're just gonna do this. This makes it a lot easier, I'm telling you, using a piping bag. And if you don't have a piping bag at home, you can use a sandwich bag and cut a little whoop, right at the tip, then another scoop, and then pudding, and then crushed cookie. Look at that! This is like chocolate heaven right here. Now you're gonna do this to the rest of the cups. The recipe makes 12 of these, and then we're gonna add some decoration. Our dirt cups are ready, they're beautiful, they're layered, and now we're gonna work on the decorations. This is the fun part, the part that I really, really love. And in front of me, I got these delicious, these are one of my favorite cookies. You can find these at the grocery store. Basically a shortbread cookie with a little bit of chocolate in the middle, and we're gonna make them look like a tombstone. So in a piping bag, a little bit of black icing, and we're gonna pipe R.I.P. Rosanna is Pansino. <laughs> Just kidding, a uh, rest in peace. So we're just gonna pipe at the top half of the cookie. I'm using a piping bag with a metal tip for a little bit more control. Just makes it easier. We've got our tombstones ready over here and I've got all this spooky candy. I found little candy bones, candy pumpkins, candy worms. And we're gonna assemble it all to look like a spooky graveyard. Ta-da, here are the graveyard dirt cups that we made. They're so cute. If you love cookies and cream, you may love this treat for Halloween. I've seen my friends make a big tray, like make a big graveyard display, but what I really love about this treat is that they're individual and they're the perfect size for a little dessert like after dinner. We worked hard, now we get to have a treat. Here we go, let's take a taste. Oh, 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 oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at those layers. 
Oh my gosh, it's so good. This is better than a chocolate mousse pie. What I also love about it, so much easier to make. Now on to our last recipe. The last Halloween treat that we're gonna be making, coffin toaster pastries. Now this is a treat that you could make in the morning for Halloween. The thing that I love about these, easy. They're easier to make, in my opinion, than scones. One could say that these are to die for. First step, we're gonna roll out our pastry dough. It's basically pie crust. It's in the refrigerated or frozen section, wherever the cool section is. I'm gonna put a little bit of flour on the work surface in front of us so that it doesn't stick. Usually it's pretty good about not sticking, but this is just an extra precaution. I don't wanna mess it up. And you're just gonna gently roll it out. I love this because it saves a lot of time. Sometimes when I wanna make a homemade pie, but I don't wanna make the dough, I'll just pick these up at the store. Next step, we're gonna take a little cookie cutter. I ordered this coffin cookie cutter online and if you don't have one of these you can just use a sharp cutting knife and cut out whatever design you want to do, whatever shape you'd like. But I've got the cookie cutter so I'm just gonna do do and I'm gonna cut out as many as I can. We've got all of our pastries cut out. I put half of them onto a baking sheet lined with a piece of parchment paper and the other half are over here because these are gonna be the bottom and these are going to be the top because we're gonna sandwich them together. Next step we're gonna take a little bit of egg wash. If you've never made egg wash, again, it's just an egg and a little bit of water and a small painting brush. We're gonna paint around the edges only because that's where they're gonna stick together. And I put the, the, the least good looking ones on the bottom because no one will see them. You wanna save your prettier ones for the top and if you have any ones with like cracks in them or imperfections, you just put those at the bottom. They make a great tea. And then in a little piping bag over here, I have some jam. Now you wanna use a red jam. Whatever one is your favorite, you can use strawberry jam or raspberry jam. You just want it to be a red jam so it looks like bloody. So we want it to look like a vampire is, you know, gonna pop out of these coffins anytime. And you're gonna pipe a layer of the jam. Gonna leave a little space at the top and the bottom, just like so. Now you're gonna take one of the top pieces, place it on top, line it up, press together with your fingers, and then using a fork, we're gonna crimp all around the edges. Press down. This is how my mom used to make peanut butter cookies. Ba-boom! Now we're gonna do this to the rest of your pastries. Coffin toaster pastries are assembled. Now we're gonna add a little decoration detail. You're gonna take a little toothpick and poke two holes for our vampire bite. About here in the middle is where I'm gonna be poking two of the holes. Our little vampire is gonna be trying to get out here and here. There's our little bites. I'm gonna put those little holes in all the pastries, just like so. Then you're gonna do this to the rest of your pastries. Now these are ready to bake. We're gonna pop these in the oven at 350 degrees and bake for about 20 to 25 minutes. Once your toaster pastries have baked, give them plenty of time to cool, and then we're gonna pipe a little bit of icing on the top. Just like this one. We're gonna pipe a little cobweb on the top because this is a spooky coffin. It's been sitting here for a while. There's a vampire inside. We don't know how old he is, so don't open the top. He's probably very hungry, <laughs> like me. And then in a piping bag, I have a little bit of buttercream icing. It's just vanilla with a number two tip at the end for a little bit more control when we decorate. And then we're just gonna start in the corner. I'm gonna pipe four lines. One, two, three, four. And then we're gonna connect them up, down, up, down, one in the middle and one at the top. Then we're gonna have a little spider come down here. And then we're gonna need a body of a spider, so it's a little bit bigger, you're just gonna put a lot of pressure. A Little bit for the head, then little legs off to the side. We want four on each side. Two, three, four. Then you're gonna do this to the rest of your pastries. Ta-da! And there you have it, coffin toaster pastries. These are homemade Halloween treats that I would definitely have for breakfast. Look how cute they are. Okay, now I get to have a bite. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Mmm, 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 mmm. Yum. All right, that does it for the video. Here are all of the Halloween treat recipes that we made today. We made coffin toaster pastries, cheesy witch brooms, graveyard dirt cups, 
and mummy jalapeno poppers, or as we like to call them, Halloweenos. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed these recipes. I love Halloween. It is my absolute favorite holiday. I'll be posting a bunch of pictures on all my social media accounts and the recipes in the description down below. If you make any of these for Halloween, take a picture and tag me. Use the hashtag row recipe so that I can find it and like it and heart it and favorite it because I love seeing your baking creations and I also I just love Halloween. I love seeing Halloween treats. It makes my heart happy. Thanks again for watching, you guys. I hope you have a very happy Halloween. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Click subscribe. It's free. And ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. Also, new merch. The sweat set is out. A pumpkin spice lounge set. So go check it out. It's on rosannapantino.com. I'll put a link down below. Thanks again for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed enjoyed all the recipes and I just wanted to wish you all a very happy and safe Halloween. Bye bye! And if you'd like to watch any other videos you can click up here or up here. Also let me know in the comments down below what's your favorite Halloween candy.